message. Or well, I, I was involved with different people, and it was never serious. Okay. After, after that, I um, I was too hurt to be in a relationship, so I did a lot of fucking. Oh, okay. So that's how you got pregnant the other time? Well, no, I got I got back with him, my ex-husband, after um, two years. He moved back. Uh, we talked about some things. He, you know, he apologized for, for leaving us. Yes. And, you know, he said that, you know, he felt bad about what he had done. And, you know, I was still, you know, really in love with him. Yes. So I had I had done some real trifling shit, you know, in between time. But, I, you know, we tried to get back together and we tried to work it out. And I got pregnant again. And um, I had, a, you know, another son. And after I had him, we broke up again. He started, you know, cheating again and stuff like that. So we eventually broke up, and we never tried to get back together. But my first, my first child, the relationship with her father was like the guy that I got pregnant by. He, we were friends, and we just were really just having sex. We didn't have a relationship. I didn't love him. He didn't love me. I ended up, ended up getting pregnant, and that was the story of that. So, so do they help with the children, pay child support, see them, talk to them? The, um, my daughter's father, he pays child support, and then she, she doesn't have, like, a relationship with him. She, uh, we tried to establish that, but he won't, um, she won't, you know, wants to go see him sometimes, and he won't, he doesn't want to see her. What I'm wondering, too, with all these men, including the one you got now, since I'm seeing you have had a lot of unprotected sex with people, are you getting them tested? Has this man that you're sleeping with now on a regular basis, have you both been tested? Yes. We How have. often do you get tested? Because you're saying you don't trust him. You say you think he's screwing women during the day. He screwed them when he was in Atlanta. So I'm like, how are you getting tested every three months? Every six. I'm saying, are you going to I'm, the doctor together? Because well, no, you're saying I, you don't trust this man. So that's what I'm wondering. Are you, if I was dealing with somebody like that and we fucking off the chain like that and swapping sperm and pussy juice everywhere, mm-hmm. he would go to my doctor and get tested with my doctor so that I would stand there and hear the doctor read off the results. So mm-hmm. I would know for sure what this man is doing. Yeah. Is now, that what you're doing? No, we didn't go together. He went on his own. I went to my doctor. So every six months, what does he do, bring you a report? Well, no, he just tells me. And you believe that? That's enough? Yeah. See, that's what I'm wondering. What what was your mother and father like? I'm trying to figure out what was your childhood like and what kind of daddy or father figures that you have because when I'm hearing you talk, I don't sense any strength. I I don't sense any male energy in you. Mm Mm-hmm. I don't sense a strong um, male background um, that really taught you game. I don't sense that you're really proud of your pussy or have any respect for your pussy. Yeah. Well, so I wonder, what was your childhood like? What kind of mother did you have? What kind of father did you have? What did you see? Well, my mother was, she raised me, my brother and my sister, by herself. Bingo, because um, I, I, don't, I don't sense a daddy in your energy at all. Yeah. And, um... My daddy was never around. But what what kind of woman he actually? Was she? I never. Uh, well, my mother said that my father raped my sister. Oh no! And so um, I was never able to be around him. But did did your sister say this? She did. Um, she did. She was not his daughter. Okay. My mother had a had her by um someone she dated. And she had her in high school, and so she was not my father's child. But um, how old was your sister when he allegedly raped her? She said she was around eight or nine. Did your mother call the police? Yeah. Did he get arrested? Or there, was there proof that he, that she was raped? Um, it was proof that he was she was raped. He didn't get arrested because he was a a. a Functioning, you know, member of society in the town that I lived in, and everybody, you know, respected him and knew him. So it didn't get, he didn't go to jail, but uh, my mom did. What she told me when I asked her why he didn't go, 
she just said she just went to court and she made sure that he wouldn't be around us anymore. Mm-hmm. She just How old you? It where, um, she said I was two. Oh, okay. So you never, well, how, are you close to your sister? Did y'all talk about, or your, is it your half-sister? Did you talk to her about this? Well, we, we talk now, but we never have been close. Um, she's actually nine years older than I am, so she left the house before I was, you know, old enough to carry on a girl-to-girl conversation with her. But she, growing up, she was really mean to me and my brother. She didn't. You know, she didn't like us. She always used to talk about us because we were, you know, a little bit lighter than her. And she, y'all think y'all better than me, you know, and all this stuff. So she, we really didn't get along. It didn't seem like we were even a, a family. We didn't do anything together or, you know, play together or anything like that. So uh, we're, we're, we're we're close. Now I try to, I try to re, uh, establish a relationship with my sister because I love her and I'm sorry I feel bad that it was my father you didn't, you didn't do anything wrong that's your father it's not you you're not your father you have nothing yeah. to do with this you have to but stop holding like on to guilt me. but i'm still figuring out you're saying you're reaching out to her she's not reaching out to you she, she's reaching back now she how is. and she, we talk on the phone she lives in california so we don't see each other but we just talk as much as we can now when she we talk about when she talks to me about um she she has problems you know with men and you know I talk to her about my issues and she said you know I really wish that mom had prepared us to deal with men she said because she never talks to us about sex she never talked to us about our cycles you know it was just we just grew up it makes sense we, did, we didn't have much guidance so she said you know I don't she's my sister is. 40, 41, and she's still having problems with me. And she she told me just, what, a month ago, she said, you know, Mom just didn't prepare as well said, because I shouldn't be going through this at this age, and I hope you don't continue to be going through this when you get my age. She said, because I'm very unhappy. But you know what? Mm-hmm. Your sister's 41 years old, and so am I. And I was raised the same way you were, and and then some, and some more worse shit. So if you if you choose to do it, you can't keep saying you get thirty, forty years old. This is because my mother did not prepare me, and 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 this man doing this because my mother. No, you you have to take charge of your life. You have to take control of your life, because you and if you want to keep letting people dog you out and then blaming your mother, that's on you. But your mother's not responsible now for what niggas do to you because you're not a minor. You're a grown woman. Your mama ain't making these niggas put all kind of damn elephant dicks up all in your pussy and all in your mouth and making you feel all kind of damn thrills and making your ass dance, you know, and then you get hurt and you catch the nigga with somebody in his house. That's not your mother's fault. Right. Now, yes, she set you up for the shit, but now that you're aware of it, you have the power to change it and to learn the lessons and recognize these kind of predators uh, unless you just want to keep going through the drama and the pain and justifying it. It's your responsibility to wake up from the goddamn dream and the illusion and figure out why this is happening. And now you're saying you know why because you weren't prepared and you obviously had a self-esteem problem, you have a boundary problem, and you don't realize you're powerful, and then, like, you got a fuck problem. You like to fuck too damn much. You even said that I just like to fuck different people. I just like to take dicks. Six months for me was a long time for my having no damn dick. So I started trembling when I seen all that damn dick, and I had to have it. <laughs> so yeah. you did not know anything about this man. He's saying what you want to hear. you pretty, you fine. I, I, I like your afro. You know, he making you feel, he talking about the damn Matuna Tur, reading all kind of spiritual book, quoting shit out the damn Matuna Tur. You think he damn spiritual and shit. He got a damn holy dick. And he done went up in you and, and, and electrified your damn ass. Now, nah, this the one and you damn in love. See, that, that's what I'm saying. You, that's why I get every woman to see like I had to see. You have to see the source of the hole in your soul. Mm-hmm. You have to see, for what you told me, you had a string of men to fuck you, get the hell on, or a lot of them, before they get the hell on, they drop a baby off, they don't respect